Oh, look, it is snowing, but it is summer when I'm recording this, so I do not miss the snow at all. I'm going to be enjoying my warm weather and my nice walks, thank you very much. What's up, you goblins of the internet? Welcome back to more Pokemon Shield. Last time we played this, I think... Uh, I think we beat the gym. Yeah, we beat Opal's gym, and I decided that we would skip the uh, area. I just decided to take that time to kind of grind and kind of chill out and just do some stuff, and uh, you didn't really mess much. Honestly, honest, honest to jaw, honest to science, you didn't mess much. So this time, I got us all the way to the next town for the next gym. And you might be saying, Hank, what the fuck, bro? Why are you, why are you just skipping entire parts of the game? Well, the thing was... I, I did the next section because the microphone, I'll admit, the microphone was very bad. And for all I know, the microphone's very bad on this recording too. And I am very sorry if that's the case. I'm still, still trying to work with this microphone. I still need to find out the optimal Gaber settings on the microphone. But yeah, I think all you missed, no, because Gucci Sides, I think, became a Nido King last episode as well. Another thing we did. Huh. <laughs> I also sneezed, but I also did that this episode, so you know what? Shut up. Yeah, uh, the next gym leader is an Ice-type user. So who was strong against Ice-type? Well, Rock is strong against Ice-type. We don't have any Rock-types. You know what we do have? We've got a Steel-type. Yes, Key Lime is going to be pretty good late game. Didn't really... It wasn't really that useful to us uh, early on in the game because of how high-leveled it was. But yeah, now that we have, we're just going to the gyms where Steel Type is just proving to be so damn good. We might as well just use them. Might as well. Might as well. Nice calming music to, you know, it's one of the one of those sounds that the Lo-Fi girl would uh, just listen to while she does her homework. Hey, Hop. I'm gonna walk really slowly. Ah, uh, I'm lost. I went all the pot. There must have been something wrong with my strategy, but I just what I've seen Lee do. In battles! <laughs> Here, take it! It's the Ice Leader's Chili card! You should check out the gym leader, you'll have to face two! Even though I, I faced her, you know, I didn't win, but I faced her. And me, I gotta figure out what to put on my team once for all, and no more of this downing! I gotta decide which one I'm gonna stick in the box forever! Ball guy! Big man, Mr. Ball guy. Hey there, thanks for rolling by to have a chat with your mate, the ball guy. I heard that a wishing star filled you. That means you were chosen by the wishing star. And that also means I've got a pokeball for you. I got the moon ball. I was wondering when we were going to get this. A pokeball that will make it easier to catch Pokemon that can evolve using a moonstone. Very specific and would have been very nice if we were trying to catch uh, one of our... If we were trying to catch Gucci slides in this game this weirdly late in the game. So... Moon balls are curious Pokeballs. They're very good at catching Pokemon that evolve by using a moonstone on them. Pokeballs are just full of surprises, don't you think? You know what, ball guy? You know, you know what? You know what, you big hunk of man? I agree. Sure, I agree. Welcome, Gym Challenger. Do you want to attempt the gym mission? Of course. Wonderful. Then please use the changing room to change to your uniform and proceed onward to begin the mission. Yes, sir. I will do as you say. Mr. Big Man over here, Mr. Big Shot's telling, calling all the shots here. Please head up uh, to pick up the trap detector. You'll need it for the gym mission. Okay. Colonel, she's attempting the gym mission. Snake, you gotta make sure that she doesn't win. You need to be the champion of the Pokemon of the, the Gala region. Yes, Colonel. Well, okay. You know what, I, I used to do comment questions. I haven't been doing it for a while. What do you... Here's the common question for this episode. Hopefully, and I mean, hey, if there's another one I have, I'll say it, but here's the main common question I have, at least now. If Solid Snake, Mr. Solid Snake himself, if he were a Pokemon trainer, what Pokemon type would he, would he choose, mostly? You know, he doesn't have to choose all the, like, a specific type, but, you know, like, what types do you think he'd do the best in? Maybe Steel types? Maybe Ghost types because of how snaky snaky he is? I'll let you guys decide that in the comments down below. Would you like to hear the details of the gym mission carried out here in Surchester? Then allow me to explain a little about the trap detector you hold in your hands. The reason you'll need it is simple. There are invisible pitfalls everywhere in here. If you fall into one, you'll have to start again from the last platform you reached. The detector will vibrate when there is a pitfall in front of you. 
the closer the hole, the stronger the vibration. Oh, I don't, I don't have vibrate on this, on this controller. But on with you. And good luck. Well, this is gonna be hard. Um, I don't think I have vibrate on. Can you hear me? Stay calm and move forward. Oh, I do have vibrate on. Thank God. Okay. And yeah, there's something there. Nothing here. Yeah. Okay. So we have to go this way. Yeah. Yeah, there's something there. Go this way. Oh. Nothing here. Let's fight the big man. As long as I've got Ice-type Pokemon with me, I can stay totally chill. Sure, man. Sure, sure. Oh, look at him. He's so happy. He's so happy. Oh, and he's serious. He's like, ah! And, <laughs> such a serious man with a snom as his uh, starting Pokemon. Which is weird because... The steel typing of Skarmory is strong against the ice typing, and the flying type is super effective against the bug typing. That is just, mwah, that's just perfect. Because I think, I, if I'm correct, uh, the main Pokemon that this uh, gym leader uses is, in fact, a Frostmoth, which is the evolution that we have not discussed about yet. Yeah. Wow. Hi, Lewis. What? There's no way it could lose. Yeah, but you lost, so, yeah, I mean, there was apparently a way. Was it Doe-Way? I don't know. In there. Uh, maybe here? Nope. Oh. Ah. Uh, nah, we good. We good, homie. Didn't get a single plot pitfall. We didn't have to deal with a single one of those. Oh, we were lucky to skip that. Good, good. Steal your nerves. No, this is an ice gym. I'm using steel type to kick your ass, but that's not what you're here for. Oh, that's sad. That's sad. Okay, no. Sneak down here. Oh, oh. Yeah, there's something there. Can go this way. No. Oh. <laughs> Phew. That was close. Gym Challenger, I'll freeze you and your Pokemon solid and shatter you into tiny pieces. That is brutal. Why would you want to do that? You seem like such a kind and caring person. Why would you want to do that? You have a cloister. That guy, I do that guy. He could commit crimes. Comment down below what you. <laughs> comment down below what crimes you think cloister would do. My choice is arson, because you wouldn't expect that out of a cloister. Who would expect a cloister to commit arson? No one. No one would. That's the perfect crime. No one would ever expect. No one would ever expect the water type to do arson. He would do mass arson too. You see that guy? That man is capable of anything. He looks like a ghastly that just took that. He just took a different way. He was like, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna clamp myself inside a shell. I'm just gonna have spikes protruding, and then, that's what I'm gonna be. Such a weird conversation. I... the fuck, man. <laughs> Shell Smash. We haven't seen that before. Uh, defense fell. Special defense fell. I think that just increases attack. Special attack. Yep, and speed. I thought it was just speed for some reason. Wouldn't really be that useful if it was just speed. Razor Shell ain't gonna do nothing. Ooh, ah. Never mind. It... Oh, Lord. Okay, Mountain Dew, please tell me. Luckily, because they uh, lowered their their defenses so much, Cloister is dead. That would have been interesting. Mountain Dew go to level 48. And we defeated Liana. I got smashed into tiny pieces along with my pride. No, keep your pride. It's pride month. It's gay month. Congratulations. Your pride is beautiful and it's great. Love, love pride. Being prideful is, an, is a beautiful thing. It's beautiful. It's gonna, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> oh, I love, I love the prideful folk. Uh, no. Uh, okay. S skimmy down here. Eh? Okay. 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 Eh? Uh, eh? Uh, nope. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go down here 
Okay. What? Oh! Well, that's not nice. We can't go up here. Oh, can we? I guess so. Oh. Yeah, so there's a hole immediately down there. And we just... Oh. Yeah, that's a lot easier. Hi, Snake. Why did you come to me? You could have easily passed through. That's true, Snake. But you know what? Uh, I mean, maybe it wasn't the case, but still. Gym trailer... Tra gym trainer Alexander... I wanted to spend some time with you and your bear tick. You two seem like a lovely duo to be around, and my Skarmory just happens to love playing with ice types. So come on, let's have a look at a little play date. There's nothing wrong with that. All your Pokemon are level 40. I think most of my Pokemon are a little higher than that, so we're good. But let's be honest, bear tick does have a fair amount of swagger on hand, you know? Just seems to be very, uh... Seems to just, like, have that personality. He's like, yo, what's up? My name Bear Tick. I got a lot of swagger. And I and I do I handle that swagger with pride. Happy Pride Month. Didn't even think about saying pride. Yeah, happy Pride Month, everyone. I haven't said that before. I don't think I have at least. Awful memory. Oh no, she might get across at me if she hears I lost to a challenger. Yeah, was she? Who's the she? Was it Big Boss? Is it Big Boss Snake? Did Big Boss promote to woman? Maybe because Big Boss is trans. Happy Pride Month, everyone. And we would we would not shame Big Boss for becoming woman. No. No. That's naughty and homophobic. And, you know, the exact opposite of... My TV turned off. I forgot about the horrible decision I had for... the. Yep. I need to change... Okay, you know what? Hey, everyone, let's go over to my, my Switch settings and turn off... Pay power state. Yeah, I was playing Mario Rabbids. Play Mario Rabbids. The sequel's coming out, and I think the sequel looks amazing. So do that. Uh, match TV power state off because I'm using my I'm using just the Discord preview because there's almost zero latency when you're using an Elgato, and I freaking love it because it's just way more comfy to just sit and just look at my screen and keep an eye on the on OBS. It's so nice. Let's keep going. Now enter a world of silver snow. Trust in yourself and push forward. Yes, ma'am. Okay, just keep going forward. Okay, yeah, that's a dead end. Oh, oh, vibrate. Oh, feel the vibrations. Ah! <laughs> you got to love vibrations. You got to. That's what the song's right. Don't rush it. Oh. You can go this way. Probably doesn't show that easily. It makes more sense if you feel the vibrations. You know, got to love vibrations. But, you know. Seems like there's an area up here. Only a little farther now. Come on, concentrate. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm doing the best that I can. And you're just being so... <laughs> hey, Snake. Yeah, continue forward. Even if you can't see where you're going. That's Sir Jester Stadium's gym mission. Snake, I would never have thought about that until you said that. You are such a wise old man, Snake. Or, I'm sorry, Micah. Sent out Avalug. Avalug's a really cool Pokemon, and I might have it on my Pokemon X and Y team, but that's something I'm doing on my own free time. That's a game that I'm playing by myself. I have a bunch of games in my collection that I have not even touched. Like, for example, I, I actually just built my game shelf so I can see it right now. Uh, Persona Royal. Persona 5 Royal. I have barely touched it. I beat the first area of it, and that's that's something I haven't really touched. Um, half of my GameCube games, which is four four of them, but uh, Pac-Man World 2 and Sonic Riders I have not touched, although those are pretty cool games. Um, let's see, what games have I just like not played yet? I don't know, that's kind of... Oh yeah, LEGO City Undercover. I just heard it's a good LEGO game, so I picked it up. And Trials of Mana I actually just got pretty recently, but I haven't yet touched it. I'm I'm interested in playing it though. Uh just watching Vine Sauce's streams of it. It just looks fun. Um let's see. Almost all my Switch games I've played, thank God. Uh, it's really the Wii my Wii games that you really see the games that I never played. Uh and really that's just uh Metroid Other M and Resident Evil 4. 
I just hear that Resident Evil 4 is the definitive way to play it, so if I ever get the, the itch to play it, then I know what to do it on. And I always have it. I got it for like 7 bucks, so I thought it was like a really good deal. Especially for the quote-unquote definitive version of the game. So, you know what? Why not? Just pick it up. And maybe, once in the blue moon, I'll have that Resident Evil scratch. And I'll do it. Uh, most likely not, though. If you hurry, you'll only end up going in circles. Okay, well, that, I mean... Hey, you know, I'm trying. I'm doing my best, whoever you are. The mysterious voice, it's the god voice in Metopia. <laughs> oh! No, 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 come on! Bleh. Bleh. Not nice. Okay. Keep going. Keep walking. But you will knock down our wall. Keep walking. Cause she isn't gonna fall. It's plain to see your brains are very small, so keep walking. Guys, you won't knock down our wall. Anyone play VeggieTales? Or, not play VeggieTales. Did anyone watch VeggieTales as a kid? Just me? No? Okay, cool, cool. Comment down below if you... <laughs> Comment down below if you've watched VeggieTales. I'm trying to get as much uh, interaction... <laughs> as much interaction as I humanly can. Okay. What's up here? Nothing. Nothing. Oh. And nothing here. It's like this wall. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Just gotta... Just take very small steps. Very small. <laughs> nope. Okay, we're good here. We're very careful. Okay. Oh, oh, careful, careful. Okay, we're doing good. Oh, hugging this wall now. There's no giving up, not even at the very end. Oh. Whew. Okay, now we just have to take whatever path this game has for us. Uh, is it? Whew, we did it. Oh, thank God. We only fell two times that time, so three overall, I think? So that's not bad. Not the worst. A gym challenge complete! Yay! Cuckoo. Okay, are my Pokemon all healed up? I mean, Keen Lime's seen better days, but that's... That's okay. That's, that's fine. Splendid, you're doing well. Come on, then. Puff up your chest a bit. Are... Mm, I mean, I did good. I'll say that. Aw, uh, gym mission cleared. Look at, look at Phil. She is doing her darnest. She's doing her darnest, people. Cut her some slack. Okay, this time, let's see if we can actually do a gym without the music being ridiculously loud. Sorry again about that last episode. The audio had a bug, and the microphone just wasn't that good. So, hopefully this makes up for it. You know, the other episodes where the microphone is at least decent, you know? Oh, look, it's Mommy Milkers. Hi, Mommy Milkers. How are you? I am Melanie. I can see that. As you can clearly see, exactly. I've assembled a team of all Ice-type Pokemon. You! You aren't sore all over from falling in a hole or two, are you? Even if you are, I'm not going to hold back. Alrighty, I suppose we should get started. You won't be able to escape when I freeze you solid. And after that? Well, you'll see. I think you find my battle style is quite severe. The Ice-type gyms are never really the worst. Not from what I remember, anyways. Oh. People have drawn art of this woman and Pokemon didn't help with that. Do 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 Okay, bug against metal bird. Which one which move should we use, guys? No, it's 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 bug. I think drill peck is stronger. So let's use a drill peck, take it down. Easy. That's Frostmoth, Evolution of Snom, like I said before. These grew to level 43 and the baby grew to level 44. Pretty alright, pretty pretty pogorific if I do say so myself. Oh, Galarian Darmanitan. We don't we haven't seen Darumaka just yet. We have not just yet. But yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. I think it's just ice type unless it is in Zen mode, and then it's Ice Fire, a very unique typing that Pokemon Company has not really utilized yet. 
So that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool that they're doing it with Darmanitan, because, you know, Darmanitan is one of my favorite fire types. So I love this thing half to death. It's like that, uh, you know, the Zen mode. The Zen mode is a hidden ability, so it's very rare to get one with Zen mode, which is a little unfortunate. Just a little. But you know what? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Fire Fang! Ooh! Oh, thank God, this thing sucks. Although we are level 47 compared to, like, what, level 40? We're a little, we're a little over-leveled, but you know what? Pokemon Company's fault. If this game's too easy, it's not our fault that we brought in traded Pokemon, which would give it more H or more experience faster, or not even the fact that, you know, uh, we just kind of on purpose, like, willingly kind of grinded for a while. No. Game's fault. I forgot. Oh, wait. Ice Cube's Ice Face. Wait a second. I... I never knew about this because I've never fought this, uh, I've never played Shield before. I've always played Sword. I didn't know that essentially they made another Mimikyu. They made an Ice-type Mimikyu in this game. I want this thing now. Ice-Q. Was it Pokemon Shield exclusive? Because I don't remember finding this thing anywhere when I was playing Pokemon Sword. I do not remember. Hmm. My dog's barking upstairs. That's pretty cool. You know, that's that's pretty pogorific. Okay. Uh, I say now is the perfect time to enjoy our Dynamax and give it a little max steel spike. Let's get used to that. I'm gonna take a sip ski of my sparkling ice classic lemonade flavored sparkling water, zero sugar, with vitamins and antioxidants. It's the 4th of July flavor, I guess. It's good, though. Sparkling ice. I sip this thing a lot. Because my family isn't really a soda family, but then at the same time, they buy stuff like this, so... I don't know. It's a, I mean, their choice. I get to sip whatever, so... Okay. Oh my gosh, really? So wait, in a blizzard, it gets, it gets its thing back. Are you kidding me? So if it's a blizzard, wait, does that also, what, bruh, are you kidding me? Buffed by hell. Okay. Can we please? Freeze dry. What? Okay, max steel spike worked this time. That means we have to hope and pray that whatever comes up next as our Gigantamax Pokemon is not, is weak enough to take whatever... Our Skarmory has, which is Max Steel Spike. Gucci Slides go to level 49, and we're buffed by Hail, which is... I would think Steel-type would not, I don't know. Even if it cracks, Ice is still Ice. I'll show you what I mean. Lapras. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I forgot that Lapras Gigantamax is in this game. Just really one of the more forgettable Gigantamaxes in this game. Come on, now. Go on, Gigantamax. And I couldn't read the rest. Oh, look at her. Aw, she loves it. It's a Lapras. Who doesn't love Lapras? Blastoise fans, that too. They're like, oh, Blastoise is way better. Can Lapras learn after Shell Smash? I mean, probably. I don't know. I, I don't... I think I've only used Lapras when it was just, like, basically given to me in Pokemon X. Oh, no, the Hydro Pumpy. <laughs> That's actually a fair amount of damage. That's not too good. And it's raining. That stinks. Really, like, the effect of Fire-type moves being weakened by rain, I get it. In a sense, I get it. Uh, it's good for, like, grass types, I guess. But, like, at the same time, like, who, why would someone, like, a human player, use a Fire-type against a Lapras? That's, I guess that's the mental thing that I don't get, but you know what? Maybe that's just me? Maybe? I don't know. You're in charge, Mountain Dew. End this off with a bang. I don't think we've really utilized you at all. So let's try and actually use you, shall we? My partner's signature move it invites you to a Sub-Zero world. Uh, G-Max Resonance. Icy, icy. Ice, ice, ice. That's a lot of ice. Ice, ice, ice. That was a crit. Wait, that was a crit? 
Ooh. That was lovely. Uh, what was it? Uh, Aurora Borealis? Iridocyclitis? Now, could we survive this? Let's see. I know you're faster, Mountain Dew. I expect nothing but... Wow, that was... You know what? Wasn't well, perfection, but you know what? There's no way this thing is going to crit again. There's no way. Mountain Dew's going to live through this. Yeah. Mountain Dew holding out for dear old, dear old Philly Poo. Good job, Mountain Dew. So proud of you. Hey, 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 hey. Level 42, but yet this thing is still packing quite a punch. She's a hyper potion, and I mean, honestly, now that it's, oh, no, Lapras is tanky. It's a tanky mf -er. We gotta, gotta take this thing down. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Oh, nice. We got the friendship bonus with uh, Mountain Dew. Luckily, that essentially just helps us to... Like, just It just gives us an unnecessary buff <laughs> for the rest of the game. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to like it. But still, it's... I'm impressed. I'm impressed. A lot of people complain about it, too. I mean, granted, that only really happens... It, it kind of happens during... You kind of increased friendship during battles... But the actual friendship benefits you only get through, like, the camp feature. So I guess that's why people... Uh, it doesn't really... They don't really need to complain, in a sense, but still. Uh, finish it off with a Swift, because when the hell are we ever going to use Swift? On <laughs> Dugu to level 49, congratulations, buddy. You took down Melanie. Oh... Oh, oh, poggers. I just want to climb into a hole. <laughs> oh, all right, do you know? Well, I guess it'd be more like falling from here, right? I, I guess? What? Also, she's married, you can tell from the ring. Whoever's the lucky man or woman, congratulations. Hope you two are happy together. You, you're pretty good, huh? Of course, seeing my Pokemon lose is sad, but to meet someone so young with, with, with such ability is quite grand. Here, take the sparkling ice badge. I have- are you kidding me? I got sparkling eyes right now! I'll, t I'll drink to that, I'll sip ski to that. I actually am drinking a sparkling ice, like I've been saying. To you doubters out there. Bleh. For some reason, I can't help but imagine my son challenging you after you become the champion. If that time comes, give him a right thrashing, would you? <laughs> Jesus, okay. I mean, hey, you know, uh, I will. I will accept the request, I guess. Weird, though. Weird that she's saying that. TM27, Icy Wind. That's pretty good. The user attacks with Gust of Chilled Air. This also lowers the, oppo the opposing Pokemon's speed stats. So not the best. It's definitely not the best in terms of damage. But you know what? The speed, the speed debuff is... It's all right. It's all right. Yeah, we are, we're almost 30 minutes into the recording, but I do know something that's going to happen a little later. So we'll just do that event, and then we'll call it today's episode. That battle was brilliant! That gym leader was tough, but you had no trouble. Sir Chester has some really great restaurants. I got some things I want to talk to you about, so let's head to a restaurant to celebrate your win. The name of the restaurant is Bob's Your Uncle. No, he's not. My Uncle Sean, and he's a sheep. No, my uncle's literally Sean the Sheep. Wow. I found two special ex uh, ex special attacks. Not not whatever I was gonna say. Who should I put up in the fray, the front of it? I guess uh I guess D's. D's and baby are gonna be always a little lower. You know, let's put Fiji. Fiji has barely been given a spotlight throughout this entire game, so let's let's keep it up there. I would enjoy a bit of time in the spotlight. Also, there's just a scent to scorch out there. Got that gym badge, Phil? Nice one. Oh, hey, there you are. I've been trying to find out more about the Darkest Day and the Sword and Shield Pokemon, but still no luck. Oh, look at Tapestry. Wow. Wait, hold on. No, wait, what's this? A fifth tapestry! Wow! That's so cool! The heroes look sad, and where are the sword and shield? 
What was the meaning of the picture? The sh uh, Sonya, the sword and shield are right there on the graves. Sonya, you need to put your glasses on in order to see it. I'm the one with glasses and I can see that right now with my own two eyes. Or my own four eyes, if you know what I'm saying. What was the meaning of this picture? Some kind of seal. You think so? I guess it could be that they were sealed away. Or maybe they've gone into some kind of sleep. I don't know. Based on those statues we saw in Stone Side, the Sword and Shield were actually two Pokemon, right? That's right. That's my take on it, at least. Do you remember the Pokemon we met at that day? Do you ever think it could have been one of them? Either the Sword or the Shield Pokemon? You met them? Oh, come on! You know what I'm talking about, right, Phil? I really don't. Not so sharp when it's not about battle, huh? Yeah, but I mean, at least that keeps me advancing through the game. <laughs> Unlike some people. Don't you remember that mad Pokemon we ran into that fog that day? Don't you think that could have been it? Oh, that's right. You lot have been in the slumbering world. I only started on this journey because my grand told me to, but this is turning out to be too much fun. You've got to tell me more. How about we discuss this over a meal? Go on, what do you want to eat? Let's get our orders in. Oh, jeez, Sonya. Okay, if you say so. I guess I'll have a bit of a num little num num time. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying, it's just a little out of nowhere. Fascinating. All right, the next thing to do now that we're done eating is to have a look around Sir Chester. Let's inspect the hero's bath. <laughs> we're gonna go into the bath with the hot woman. <laughs> Disgusting. Truly vile. Oh, no, that's not Hop. The hero's bath. They say that this is where the two heroes came to soothe their wounds after the battle to bring down that evil presence long ago. Nowadays, only Pokemon really use the hero's bath, though. Hmm, who exactly were the heroes that bathed here? I think I'll have to look into that. You two met a mysterious Pokemon back in the slumbering world. Perhaps you two can become new heroes. What? What, like some hero raving around a sword and shield? Pull the other one! Oh, I guess I'd fancy a sword if I had to take my pick. I mean, yeah, you have the blue clothing for Zacian, and I have the red clothing for for Kabu, who's the real hero. Why don't we have? Why don't we show her, Phil? Think we could pull off a real heroic battle? Absolutely, Hop. So when you treated us to a great meal, after that curry, I feel like I've got the energy to wrestle up where. Do you? I don't entirely understand your reason. Oh, I don't entirely understand your reasoning, but I might as well just see what you two can do. I'll heal up your Pokemon for you, Phil. Us, uh, give it your best. I will try my best. My dog's barking upstairs. I know I always say it. I know y'all can't hear it. But that's... My dog is... A lovable idiot. A very stupid idiot, but we love her nonetheless. Time for a little exhibition match starting the future champion. Me. I'm the future champion. That's gonna be me. Challenge by Pokemon Trainer Hop. Okay. That's cool. Pokemon Trainer Hop sent out Dabool. Dabool is the evolution of... Wooloo. Forgot its name for a second. I just have that that vibe with the with my Ludicolo, just like yeah, 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 yeah. He just got he just has a funky vibe about him. We can take we can tank whatever this double is having, and we'll we'll melt the ice into rain just for a hot second. Double his takedown. That's not gonna do anything. Oh, not bad on damage, Hopperoony. Not the best, though. Use Hydro Pump, and this thing should do quite, quite a fair bit of damage. You, you know what I'm saying. And it's dead. Key Lime grew to level 48, and it wants to learn Iron Defense. I don't care. <laughs> I don't. I don't. Corviknight might be a little, a little tricky, especially with the Flying type, but. We can, at the very least, send out... Because I don't think we have anything that'll really be good. Uh, except for... Yeah, that's super effective. Eh, it's not really worth it. Might as well just swap out. I was going to say, I might have done a teeter dance to confuse it, but really... What's a Corviknight going to do against a uh, Jolteon? Nothing of use. Or nothing that's really powerful, at least. Maybe... Drill Pick? Scary Face? Yeah. No oh, man, I'm so scared. But da 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 the mountain do speed harshly fell. Okay, let's go. Discharge. Hey. 
And I knew you could do a Mountain Dew. You make me so proud. Now that's a proper move. Yes, yes it is. Landed a critical hit wishing to be praised. Look, I love you, Mountain Dew. Steady on, partner. I feel your pain. We'll get the back for it. You will not. I mean, you you do have Cinderace, which has Pyro Ball, which is it is interesting. But still, I don't I don't really know what you could do. Speak of the devil. Here's the bastard child here. Uh, let's use a Thunder Wave to kind of paralyze it. Mega Kick. You're gonna use Mega Kick. Honestly, that does kind of guarantee that whatever she's going to do, that Pyro Ball is going to kill. So I think we need to swap back. The rain stopped. Aw, oh, it stinks. Well, now it's clear. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. Discharge! Ooh, as long as we can survive the uh, the pyro ball, we should be good to go. Because, I don't know, even a pyro ball, a pyro ball doesn't increase speed. Still like one of the sickest animations in the entire game, though. Sh shit. <laughs> shit. Oh, well. You did your best. Time for Gucci Sides to get in on the fun. Here's my partner Pokemon bitch. Earth power. Do Oh, I should have sent out some toxic spikes. That would have been nice. Oh, well. Cinderace is dead. Cinderace is dead. The baby grew to level 45. Congratulations, the baby. Nightshade. There we go. That's... Ooh. Okay, wait, wait, wait. The user dance makes the target see a frightening mirage. It inflicts damage equal to the user's level, so it do 40, 45 damage. Ah, uh, no. 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 <laughs> no. And I mean, hey, comments down, like, comment down below if that's actually good. But, I mean, the hex build that I have right now is kind of, it's kind of still doing pretty good. Pinch Urchin. Interesting. Uh, one of, a new addition to the game. Uh, coincidentally, electric type, so... Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Dude, Gucci Slides has become one of the most invaluable members of the team. Now that it's evolved, I love him more. I might like the look of Nidorino more than I do Nidoking. That's a personal opinion thing, but kind of needed that ground typing. That kind of sealed the deal. Think you got me cornered? Not even close. I'll be greater when I steal this win back. Go get him, Snorlax. What you, what is, what's Snorlax going to do? Is he going gonna to sleep? He's going to have a nap? Uh, let's just Poison Jab. Honestly, Poison Jab is probably going to be the best option. Just get him a little Poison. Aw, oh, Body Slam? Aw. Aw. A lot of people would pay for someone that big to step on them. Hey, okay? and I'm not judging. Just don't get it. I just don't get it. Oh, I think just one more Poison Jab should do the trick, though. As long as we don't get paralyzed. I know I'm kind of jinxing myself because of saying, that, Oh, we shouldn't get paralyzed. What'd I say? What did I say? <laughs> well, you know what? There's a time and place, and that just was very coincidentally the time and place. Okay, but it, but a poison jab, though, would be perfect. It would be perfect, as long as we don't get paralyzed again. Come on, you can move. Come on, Gucci Slides. There you go, that's my boy. With a poison jab, and that's a bye-bye to the Snorlax. Good job. Gucci Slides, Gucci Slides, you have done an amazing job today. Fiji, you got a really good Hydro Pump in. You know what? You still did good. I still can't believe- I still can't even beat you! My true level! But I think I'm starting to see the light! You're gonna die. No, Hop, don't go to the light! Now go to the light, Hop! Hop, that's scary! Don't do that! Thanks, you two gave a right proper battle. At the rate you both are going, even the unbeatable Leon may be in trouble. Oh, he doesn't even know. So what's next, you two? I plan to look into things in the slumbering world. I'm going to keep challenging that gym, and then I'll get back to gym badge. I'll be heading the Route 9 to take on Spike Myth next. Okay, have fun, buddy. Seems like he finally shook off that gloom. Leon had worried if Hop wasn't feeling alright. As his rival, you shouldn't like it either, right? See ya. Okay, bye. Just a weird way to end the conversation. But okay. I mean, it's true. I'm happy. Ooh, we almost missed a TM. I feel like we've already missed plenty. 
Icicle Spear, the move of that one new one from the DLC, which I would have, you know what, I, I would have, I would have played if I didn't have to pay for it again, you know, the DLC for the, for the eighth gen Pokemon games, you would have, <gasps> we get new drip, we get new drip, we get new drip, we get new drip. Okay, Torn Top, oh, oh, we're gonna, looks like we're gonna misbehave, oh, easy boy, easy boy. Ooh, scary face. That kind of looks cool. And then there's just regular tees of the uh, of Eevee. It's kind of cool. Satin varsity jacket. Got some parkas. That's kind of cool. We just have a nice dress. That's just a nice dress. I don't want it though. Got some kicks, some pumps, if you will. Uh, oh, those just look lovely. Honestly, those those just look nice. I'm gonna go maroon just to fit with the fit with the color. Backpacks. Ooh, these backpacks don't look bad. Pack. We'll get a frilly rucksack. Sure, we have a lot of money. Really. Oh my gosh, this is great. Yeah, we are buying a trapper hat. That looks amazing. That's just amazing. Uh, glasses? No. No. We got some patterned gloves. It's kind of nice. Eternal sleep. That is a little sad. What's the what's the thing on the pattern? What what is that? Uh, it's more lull. Okay. It's kind of cool. Mischief maker. That's uh Morgrim. Or the Impidimp. And Gullet Glam. What the? What is? What's Gullet Glam? Wait, I want to see this. Oh, Terrascuta, or er, it's one or the other. I don't know. Also, when did we get? When did we get this bracelet? Wait, what? Is that weird? I I don't remember. I don't remember getting that bracelet on my character. Did wait? When did this happen? Okay, might have been Isle of Armor that I'm thinking of, like an uh, an Isle of Armor pass. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, it can't be the case because apparently we don't have the expansion pass. Even though we do. Even though I technically do. But yeah. I'm gonna save my game. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna call it that. I'm gonna call that the episode. So next time on Pokemon Shield, either I'm going to show you the route to. Uh, actually, it's it's pretty interesting. There's some team yelled grunts. But next time we play this, uh, we're gonna go take on the Spike Myth Gym. So yeah. I'll see you guys next time. So uh, bye bye.